Hey everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about fresh release from Brain Gun. And this is an aircraft kit which comes in 144 scale so it should be quite tiny but it also makes it an interesting build to assemble. And we have a commercial sample here so obviously you will get exactly the same stuff as you will order it from official Brain Gun website. You can see that the packaging is not that huge here, you can see comparison with my hand so basically I can cover a whole box with my hand. We have also a quite nice box art here and note this small Yah logo on the top so it means that this model was created in cooperation with this brand we also have the kit number here so it's a BRP 144020 and on the side of the box here you will find some safety information while on the opposite side we also have some information about the kit again and of course on the rear side you can see some of the marking options which are included here so as far as you can see we have at least two markings included and they should be easy or fun to copy so this is a side opening box i will open it off the camera just to make sure that nothing will fall out i can hear some parts actually you can hear it as well, I hope. So they're uh, flying around the packaging. I guess that's due to the packaging because we had everything packed into this Ziploc bag. So let's open it. And what we have here is the canopy part first. So that's what was actually flying around the box. But it's not broken, it's just, uh, let's say, separated of the frame again due to the packaging because it was packed together with everything as you can see it's a one piece part but it would be strange to expect something different from a 144 scale kit and also molding quality is really nice so there is nothing to complain to be honest next we continue with the first gray plastic sprue and by the way regarding clear parts we do not have masks included here so if you would like to do nice paintwork you have to source them maybe from brand gun original ones or maybe Maybe from some aftermarket producers or of course make them yourself but it will require certain skills because <laughs> these squares they will be really tiny okay so what do we have here is the first gray plastic sprue as i said before so you can see that we have fuselage halves both are molded together with the tail fin but only this one is molded together with the rudder as you can see we also have the cooling frontal sections which are molded as a single piece parts as far as i can see we have two versions of them we also have the engine tab here so obviously this is not a full engine imitation and maybe i can bring it closer so that you can see what i'm talking about it is enough for a 144 scale here we also have a one piece propeller and also some cockpit parts as well and note also external features on the fuselage parts so they look decent for this size and if you flip over here we can see that tail area will actually play as a guiding element while combining these parts because there are no pins inside this uh, fuselage house so be careful with it and maybe it would be a wise idea to play with some details on the cockpit walls because as you can see they are completely plain and I'm not sure if we will actually get something here but uh, I think they will be still visible even though we cannot open the uh, cockpit with the canopy so definitely think about this next we continue with another i would say quite predictable thing for a 144 scale aircraft that's a one piece wing so as you can see it is supplied as a single piece element so you don't have to glue anything and it's actually something what will speed up the assembly process but you should be also careful while uh, getting the fuselage and wing together so that you receive the nice alignment between these parts of course external features look exactly the same as what we had on the fuselage we also have some minor elements here which will be used for the bombs attachment and also for as far as you can see cockpit as well and if we flip over so here we can see that we have this nice imitation of the perforated sweats on the wing but obviously you will not be able to retract them even though box art actually shows the retracted flaps position here they are molded in and the same can be said about the ailerons the same can be said about the tail wings and the elevators so that's something you cannot avoid with this kit and also be mindful of these attachment points as you can see they are placed right on the leading edge so that's why you have to be careful okay next we continue with the decals decals are printed on this small uh, sheet of paper and if i bring it closer you can see 
if camera will focus yeah now you should be able to see that here we have all the main symbols i do not see any decals for the cockpit which is quite a shame because it would be cool to get at least uh, some dashboard or instrument panel decals and of course this um, black stripes you can copy them with a masking so i think it would be a better approach for a 144 skill but in case you have some problems with such masking with the airbrushing on the model then definitely go with decals i guess with some softener you will get a nice result and next we continue with assembly manual so here i will have to close the lenses a bit zoom out you can see that this is a black and white brochure nothing unusual for brand gun i would say and we have straight away the parts map note that two parts will not be used only two so that's why you have to be careful and use the right elements so that uh, you will not confuse the versions of this aircraft nevertheless no history note so if you would like to learn more about this aircraft definitely get some decent re reference material it will come handy also for some painting ideas even though in this size uh, you won't be able to play with weathering much but i think it's still worth checking some interesting marking options maybe you'll find something decent to copy or maybe you are fine with the out of the box choice then definitely go with what is supplied here so uh, if we open this assembly manual here is what we have on the first page so as i said before cockpit here is quite simple it's actually a really generous space for the uh, scratch builders so if you like to add more details to your aircraft you will feel good here but if you are not fan of this then it will be quite a shame but i think maybe we will see some aftermarket p from howler or brain gun which will add more features here so next we continue with the gun turret as you can see it is assembled separately and then we install the cooling and wing and winding gear so overall it, the assembly process is quite simple note that you have to modify the rear um, winding gear so that you can install this new leg and also here we have some additional parts for the bomb attachment as you can see under wing and next we continue here with the actually bombs installation under wing and under fuselage and here you can see the clear part installation so as i said before not even the um, canopy templates even though it could be cool to have the canopy templates in such kit because of its size but overall you can see also that the marking guide should be used the one which is supplied on the rear side of the box it is not printed here on the assembly manual it is printed here of course it is better to have it in cover but it's kind of unusual to have it on the rear side of the box not in the assembly manual but i guess that's the approach we also used to see in the older kits so this is something um, traditional as well so this kit should be already available you can get it in any good model shop or even on official brand gun website and in my opinion it's an interesting build for modelers who would like to work on the smaller scale aircraft and they would like also to copy this particular type because i do not remember that many offerings which are giving you a chance to build this bunchy aircraft so i will be happy to hear your opinion about this release here in the comment section below and if you like this video press the like button subscribe to our youtube channel and i will see you in the next video review as usual thank you for joining me today and bye